By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what an impulsive force is. Give examples of situations involving impulsive forces. Define impulse as a change in momentum, that is, Ft equals mv minus mu. Define impulsive force as the rate of change of momentum in a collision or explosion, that is, F equals mv minus mu over t. Did you notice that every time a player kicks an oncoming ball, it rebounds? What causes the ball to rebound? Click on the slow button and then on the fast button. Observe the karate exponents. Describe the two situations. When the pieces of wood were hit slow, they did not break. When the pieces of wood were hit fast, they broke. What is the difference between the two situations? The contact time between the hand and the wood. Click on the slow button and then on the fast button. Observe the hammer hitting the nail. Describe the two situations. When the nail was hit slow, it moved only slightly into the wood. When the nail was hit fast, it moved deeper into the wood. What is the difference between the two situations? The contact time between the hammer and the nail. Let's look at this situation again. A moving football has momentum. When the ball collides with the boot, it experiences a change in momentum. This change in momentum occurs over a period of time. The force exerted during the collision is equal to the rate of change in momentum as stated in Newton's second law. If the mass of the ball is m and its initial velocity u, what is its momentum before collision with the boot? Initial momentum is equal to mu. If the velocity of the ball after collision with the boot is v, what is the momentum after collision? The momentum after collision is equal to mv. The ball experiences a change in its momentum. If the collision occurred in time t, then the force exerted on the ball is f equals mv minus mu over t. The force that acts during a collision is also known as an impulsive force. The product of force and time is known as impulse, and it is equal to change in momentum. The SI unit of impulse is Newton second. Recall the hammer and the nail as well as the karate exponent. 
explain why the nail moved further into the wood when hit fast. Why did the wooden pieces break when hit fast? When the nail was hit fast, the contact time was short, thus the impulsive force acting on it was large. Since F equals MV minus MU over T, when T decreases, F increases. When the wooden pieces were hit fast, the contact time was short, thus the impulsive force acting on it was large. From the situations that we have seen, we can deduce that an impulsive force is exerted when two objects are involved in a collision. The impulsive force is large if the time of collision is short. In a tennis match, a player hits an oncoming tennis ball with a mass of 0.2 kilograms and a velocity of 20 meters per second. The ball rebounds with a velocity of 40 meters per second. The time taken in the collision between the ball and the tennis racket is 0.01 second. What is the impulse experienced by the ball? Impulse is equal to 12 newton seconds. What is the impulsive force exerted on the tennis ball? The impulsive force is equal to 1,200 newtons. If the tennis ball, which has a velocity of 20 meters per second, is hit by the racket with a force of 50 newtons, and the ball rebounds with a velocity of 5 meters per second, what is the time of collision between the ball and the racket? The time of collision is 0.1 second.